Hi everyone, Tori here with today's December daily video and today I will be decorating my 2015 December daily album and I'm super excited about it. Yesterday I did my 2014 one and it was so much fun so I thought today I'd come back with another album cover this year's and um I hope you guys enjoy it. Before I really dive in, I just want to let you know that every day during the month of December, I am doing a December daily related video to give you some inspiration and ideas and encouragement to stay motivated. So if you haven't seen those videos, um, there's a link below and go check out all the other December daily videos I've posted so far. And make sure that you're subscribing so that you can catch all the December daily videos I will be doing this year and I'm super excited about it. So today I have this really cool idea and I'm super excited about it. I was on Pinterest looking for ideas and I found, I just casually saw this image and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. I have to make a December Daily album like this. It's a deer head made out of buttons and I love it because I love buttons and I just think the deer head is so cute. So I'm definitely going to be using this as inspiration for today. So what I did was I printed off a deer head that I thought I wanted to use. Um, I decided to change the type of deer head. I could have used the same one. But the thing I didn't like about this deer head is it's facing this way, away from the opening of the book. And I thought that a deer head that was facing towards the opening of the book would be maybe more inviting to open it. So I printed off one small one and one big one, and I was trying to decide which one to go with. I have decided to use the big one just because I want it to be like a super big statement piece, and I'm actually really excited about it. So um, you could totally do this too. You wouldn't even have to use a deer head. You could use a snowflake or a Christmas tree or a wreath, or you could write out your family name and buttons or something. It's it's just so many open ideas. So this is the deer head that I'm using, and I'm using the white December Daily album, which I got from Allie Edwards. And I love white. I had a white album last year. It was a little different. The only problem with the white is that it gets really dirty. But the nice thing about this year's is that it's actually like more like cardboard, so you can wipe it off if you, if you get some dirt on it. Um, Hopefully it'll last over the years. I don't even care if it has a little wear and tear. I'm also going to be using a bunch of buttons that I have in my stash. And I have some like wood grain and white ones. I have a bunch of red and a bunch of green. And I just want to say I love buttons. So I will be using buttons for sure. I also grabbed out some other embellishments which I thought would be fun to mix in with the buttons and I'm totally going with a traditional color scheme. This one was sort of more like rainbow and all over the place but I really wanted to look Christmassy so I am going to be going with the colors that I'm using this year which are like green and red so traditional Christmas colors along with gold and silver and uh, I'm really excited about it. So here are some of the other things I pulled out. I have these rhinestones that I got at the dollar store. They cost two dollars, but I thought those would be fun, and they're silver and red. I had a whole bunch of bling it dots, which I thought I could just break apart, because I probably won't use the design like that, but I could just use some of the bling it dots if I wanted some smaller sizes. I have these Tim Holtz Ideology Mirrored Stars. I have these silver sparkly December Daily stars which came I believe in the main kit. thought it could be fun to include some of those. I grabbed out the sequin pack just in case I want some smaller items. I grabbed out some enamel dots so I don't know where these ones come from but I had those. I also have these My Mind's Eye enamel dots and shapes. They are from the Cozy Christmas line. I have these freckled fawn mirrored little tiny stars. I had some gold seven paper hearts, which I thought would look cute. Some silver twine and ink puffy stickers. And then some more freckled fawn epoxy stickers. And I'll probably just use the like red and green ones and mix them in. That way it's just like a little bit of everything and I thought it could be really cute. Yep. 
that's what I will be using, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. The first thing I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to cut out the shape of my deer head to use as a guide. So what I'll do is I'll just start here, cut it out, and I will be back in just a moment so that you guys can see this. Okay, I'm done. Now that I'm finished, I'm realizing that probably what I should have done was use my silhouette to cut this out, but, well, now it's too late, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, I'm also realizing this is slightly bigger, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off part of the bottom and make it look like it's cut off a little bit there. So just use my big scissors to get all the way across and just, yeah, that's good. I like the size. I definitely could have gone smaller, but I'm happy with the size of my deer head. I'm going to just do the button thing and leave the color cover white. So I'm going to start by trying to decide whether I should adhere this or just use it as a guide. So what I'm going to do is just grab some buttons to see what it looks like with the black underneath. Um, okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the deer as a guide, but I am not going to actually um, adhere it. Is there a bad decision or a good one? We will find out. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab a pencil and some washi tape. I'm going to temporarily adhere the deer down. Just so I can outline it. I actually like the black deer right on the cover, so if you didn't want to have such a bulky cover with like all the buttons and things like that, what you could do is you could just um, adhere, like you could cut using a silhouette or so like some kind of cutting software, you could cut out a vinyl, a deer head, and uh, like adhere it down. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to use the deer head as a guide. So I'm just using my pencil to outline the deer so that I know where to put the embellishments. You could do this with any, sh any Christmas shape or if you were doing a December daily and you don't Celebrate Christmas, let's say you celebrate Hanukkah, like maybe you want to do a Hanukkah shape or something on the front of your December Daily album. So now that I've outlined it, I'm just going to pull the deer head off and hopefully I'll be able to erase those lines later. It's really faint. I can see it, but I don't know how well you guys can see it on the video, so I'll just hold that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adhere a bunch of shapes within that shape. I'm just going to get something to put underneath to help it. I have this old Project Life box from Studio Calico, which I think will work perfectly. That way it's just a little flatter. And I'm going to just adhere shapes within this. So I think probably the best way to go is go with your largest shapes first and then fill in around that. So I know that I want to use at least one of these big albums or big buttons. I am using a glue gun 
to adhere all of this because one because I love my glue gun and two because I think it'll be the best thing to hold down all of these embellishments. I would love to use one of these big stars but I don't think it will fit. Well I guess I could put it right there but it's almost like too big so I'll probably just use one of the smaller ones. Let's see. Do I want to use another one of these big buttons? Maybe there. The nice thing about sticking down the big ones first is that later you can fill in around them with smaller items. So I used a couple of those big ones. I want to use a couple of these big Tim Holtz stars. So I'm just going to grab them out now. Again, glue gun is the way to go. Um, I don't know if this is going to last over time, but I guess we'll see. So next year, I'll have to do some December daily videos again and show you if uh, my cover lasts a year with all these crazy embellishments on the cover. I think what I'll do is just be careful with it. So that's that. See if I have any other bigger embellishments. Probably these gold hearts are, are part of the bigger items that I have. Now I definitely want to get them in there. They are sticky on the back, but I'm just going to add extra sticky with the hot glue gun. And I'm trying to stick things pretty close together. I think I'm going to stick one of these in the ear over here because it's actually like the perfect shape. And I'm just going to use a couple of each item filling it in. So, um, like I said yesterday on my December daily video where I showed you last year's album cover, I would love, 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 love to see your album covers and what are you guys doing? Are you decorating them? Do you leave them blank? If you leave them blank, leave a comment so I know. I'd love to hear sort of what you guys are doing. If you um, are painting, if you are decorating, if you do junk journals, I would love to know. I, I would really love to see your album. So leave me a comment. Link it up for me. Show me where I can find your albums so I can see them. I think it would be so cool to be able to see a bunch of people's albums. I just, I love this December Daily project. And one of the things I love about it is like seeing the inspiration from all over the place. Like seeing everybody's inspiration from across the world as they join in on like a collective project to document our December Decembers. And one of the things I also love about this project is like whether you have a lot going on in December or just a little bit, it's not about like, it's not about having crazy, inventive, like fantastic stuff going on in December. It's about just documenting your everyday life, documenting the things that are going on in your life. And so like, if you aren't doing a December daily this year, like I really want to encourage you to maybe think about doing one next year because it's one of the my most favorite projects I've ever done. And at first I was worried like, I don't have enough going on in my life. Like what would I even document? Like seriously, what would I document? But looking back, I am just so in love with last year's December Daily. And even the days when I did nothing, like just stayed in bed and was sick, it's so interesting to just look back at it years later and see where I was in life and what was I doing at work. And I mean, I work in the same place, but things change, right? Like last year at work, we were um, like redoing our website. So we were like at a specific place in our lives. So this year we're doing something different. This year I'm redoing online training. So every year is a little different, right? And I think it's so fun to be able to see all those 
memories like this and to just document like every day during the month of December. Now on a side note, I did give my deer a red nose using this 25 just because I think you can't have a deer head on your thing without like giving a subtle nod to Rudolph. That's why that deer has a red nose. <laughs> Anywho, sort of random moment there as I go along. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm either going to, I think I'm just going to speed you guys up because you probably don't want to see me glue down every single item. Um, I'll play some music for you and just keep on filling in my little deer head dude here. And uh, I'll be back later. Okay, everybody, so I'm like so excited. I think it looks so cool. I don't know if it like really looks like a deer deer. I mean, I hope it does. Um, but there's still some spots I want to fill in with some of these um, bling it dots because they're really small. But before I do that, I want to get rid of some of the like spider webs from the glue gun. So I want to give you a tip of how you can do that. Um, you can either just like roll it off and it it comes off but in some of these like really tricky places it's really hard to get it out so if you use a heat gun it will actually like blow those little strings away so okay I don't know if you can see those strings okay so I'm gonna just use a heat gun so you guys can see okay so there we go I don't know if you could actually see it on the camera but you can see that they're they're gone. So now I'm just going to add some of the bling it dots in here to try to fill in some of those spots. And because they're sort of like tricky to use, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pair of tweezers and stick them down. And I don't think I'm going to be using my hot glue gun for this just because it's a little hard to use a hot glue gun for such little tiny dots. But, oh, well, I might need to. Okay, well, I'll figure it out as I go and I'll tell you after what I did. New plan. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a craft knife so that I can keep the glue dot with it as I go. Okay, well it's done and I'm so excited. I absolutely love it. It's so fun. It's actually not that dimensional, um, but it's so exciting and things are sticking pretty good, so I think it'll be okay. Um, a couple notes. I did add a little bit to the original 
like shape that I had drawn out. I added a little bit more, like just a little bit wider down here. And I also made the nose a little bit bigger because I wanted it to stand out more. But other than that, it's done and I'm really happy with it. There's just a couple more things I want to add. I want to add this uh, December Daily Banner to the top or to the front. And I'm debating whether I should stick it right on top or whether I should stick it off to the side. And I think I'm just going to stick it down here off to the side. It's a lot, it's really wide actually. So I'm just going to trim it down because I don't actually want it to be that wide. And I'm going to stick that December down here. And the other thing I'm going to do is on my 2014 album, which you saw yesterday, I put one of these little gingerbread men on the edge of the thing. And I thought it would be cute to put another one on this year's. And maybe I could save the other ones for next year and just um, have one on all the, like, the next six years, I guess. I'd have to save it and remember but I just thought it would be cute to have one little gingerbread man down there. Last year I did a little, or for last year's album I did a little girl. I figured this year a little boy would be cute. And I thought they'd be really cute sitting on my shelf with a little gingerbread on each of them. So that's what I'll do for this year and last year's I guess. And then I'm just going to glue this little December plastic title in this bottom corner and there you have it my December 2015 album cover I'm so excited with the way that it turned out even after all the mistakes in the beginning I think it turned out beautiful I love the Christmas colors silver golds reds that are going on here and that's those are the colors that I'm going to be using in the album, so I think it's really fun. Well, if you would love to scrap lift this idea, I would absolutely be tickled pink, as Sybil would say, to see um, your version of this. I think it would be really cool to do one color or to do rainbow even, or to do it all in white and just have it like more like a tone on tone would be really cool and it would actually look cool on different types of albums too like a really big album or a smaller album anyways that's it for me today check back tomorrow for tomorrow's December daily video I hope you guys have enjoyed making this with me and I hope you have a lovely day bye